day one of our drive. We are still in Virginia, <clears throat> heading uh, southwest to uh, Durham, North Carolina, where we're going to meet up with uh, Brett's wife, Kathy, to pick up a box to bring to Wild West Con. And then uh, Greensboro, where we meet up with Jeff Church, possibly Je uh, Stephen Chapman. And uh, I pick up my fantastic sword. Uh, we will end the day um, at uh, Castle Strangeway, um, which should be fun catching up with Johnny Boy where he's not at a convention, smacking people in the ass and stuff. Um, although that might mean that we're target space. So we've only been driving um, about two and a half hours. And uh, Open area. <laughs> we do have quite a ways to go. <laughs> if Google Maps is anything close, then we have about um, 69 more hours um, until we're back home. <laughs> so our first stop along the way is at uh, the Temple of Strangeway. Um, it is definitely a temple of Star Wars worship. Um, <laughs> more Boba Fett paraphernalia than I've ever seen. It's almost a, its own museum, actually. Um, very cool, great hospitality. Uh, it's always fun hanging out with Johnny Boy. Yeah. So anyway, um, also realized that um, I'm now smuggling weapons across state line. Of course, any law enforcement officials, I'm not talking about real weapons, I'm talking about steampunk weapons. I've got a tub of steampunk guns from Stephen Chapman in the trailer. I've got a Cthulhu mask and set up from Brett King. Um, and I also picked up John's uh, Boba Fett rifle, um, as well as the my swords that Jeff Church made. So I've got a whole arsenal of uh, weaponry in here that I'm now bringing across state lines and uh, <laughs> I'm hoping that uh, in the fictional world that I seem to be stuck in, that's not going to be a problem. So anyway, uh, more later. Cheers. All right, it is now Wednesday. We are somewhere between um, somewhere between San Antonio and El Paso. Uh, the landscape is beautiful. Um, Reminds me a little bit of Italy, uh, just much nicer and cleaner. Uh, in fact, we're passing Fredericksburg, Texas, right now. Um, we're listening to, um, I guess, a Mexican radio station or a radio station that plays all Spanish songs. Um, we just realized that uh, a lot of it with the accordions and things sounds like Bavarian music, so uh, we've determined that it must be uh, Mexivarian music. Uh, the German influence came this far. Practically half the towns here have German names anyway. Um, so, yeah. That's just Dave's tired rambling observations. Um, had an awesome time with uh, Cosmo and Meriwether and Galloway yesterday in Houston. Um, fantastic hosts. Um, ate some really good uh, Korean food and just had a great conversation realizing that uh, the two of them and the two of us are very much alike. Um, just wish we did live half a country away because it would be cool to uh, definitely cool to hang out more with them. What about you Mrs. Lee? David's new book ideas and new build ideas and lotto. What are we going to do when we win the lottery? Not if we win the lottery, when we win the lottery. Positive thinking, always a good thing. Yes. So, anyhow, it's all good. I'm digging this 80 mile an hour speed limit. Even though I can't go that fast with the, uh, with the trailer, 
Um, we're, we've been pretty much cruising around 65, maybe 70, if we're going downhill. But uh, I'm digging that. I'm not digging the like perpetual incline from a while back. I realize we've got to climb some elevation to get to Tucson, uh, but it's messing with my gas mileage math. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, um, we are approximately uh, 11 hours away from Tucson. We're gonna stop somewhere along the way and uh, so that we hit Tucson tomorrow morning sometime and then enjoy the wild, wild Westcon. Yeah. On that note, see you tomorrow at Wild Wild West Con. What do you say? She's been working very hard um, on her beauty sleep. Uh, but as you can see, it's working. Because, I mean, look at her. She's just an absolute vision of beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Cheers. Okay, time for another little update. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Texas. I thought I was in the middle of nowhere, Texas before, but this is definitely in the middle of nowhere. Maybe 220, 240 miles from El Paso, um, east of El Paso. But, uh, it, yeah. I mean, this is like scenery that is beautiful and majestic, but you have no doubt um, that run out of gas, you're dead. Um, <laughs> so. so we have ourselves a, I believe a, I believe it's a Texas culinary treat, but hold it up to the, to the camera. It's got a little dirt on it, but that's okay. It's still alive, it jumps. And tell us what it is. Um, it's a peanut patty. It's pink. It's pink. I do not know why it's pink. All right, well, take a bite. Tell, tell me what it tastes like. Tell us what it tastes like. Don't be scared. Oh my god, that's kind of awful. <laughs> Is it just like really sweet? Do they have to swallow this? That's what she said. <laughs> oh my god. Why, what's so bad about it? Is it just pure sugar? Uh, well, you try and then you tell me and then you get it off my goddamn hand. You take mine. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's like a huge bite, too. That is the most, one of the most single nastiest things I've ever had. You're gonna add some really nasty stuff then, because this isn't that bad. Oh my god! It's kind of like it's like Play-Doh Play with some. Pe oh, and it tastes like sh like soap. <laughs> it's like soap flavored Play-Doh with peanuts in it. Maybe you're supposed to shower with it, and the peanuts <laughs> <laughs> and the peanuts are exfoliation. <laughs> exfoliation, yeah. Probably not right. But neither is this peanut. You know what it is? What? I think it's the, the urinal cakes. <laughs> that's, I'm pretty sure that's what we just ate. Mm. A urinal, pink urinal cake. It doesn't want peanuts. Mm. Oh. Oh. Texas, you got a lot of problems with you. Yes. Overall, cool state, some cool cities. Love San Antonio. Houston was pretty rocking. But all this open shit here, I don't know. Build some houses or something. I mean, shit. Put all the refugees out here. Or hell, do something. This is just wasteland. There's nothing. If you don't go to every single gas station you pass on the I-10, you're gonna die. <laughs> no, not as long as you have this stuff. As, as long as you have your urinal case, you can survive. <laughs> However, <laughs> but mm. Mm. landscape's beautiful. I, I will say that Maybe Texas, you do got some rock and speed limits 80 miles an hour yeah. awesome. hallelujah angels singing and all kinds of good stuff and everybody's been really friendly yeah everybody's really friendly oh they're just happy to see someone <laughs> they're like i wonder if we can get them to eat some urinal cakes <laughs> <laughs> hey, bobby put them in some plastic wrap <laughs> there's another one Governor. tell them it's a peanut another one mm. of them hippies <laughs> look at that there's just volvo yuppies 
I guess that's all for now. <laughs> all right. Today is, what is today? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, March 2nd, I think. Yes. And we are upon our final approach to Tucson, Arizona on the airship. Oh my God, what were we thinking? Uh, we now have 2,161 miles behind us. Woohoo! On the negative side, that means we have at least that much ahead of us. Because <laughs> we do have to go home eventually. No, we're not going home. <laughs> but we'll be going home on the afterglow of uh, what I'm sure is going to be a phenomenal convention. Um, I have been like dreaming about going to Wild West Con for a very long time. I uh, got to participate the previous two or the two years before that uh, via Skype. It was kind of cool to do a little panel. The first time was kind of a technical disaster. I couldn't see or hear them. So I was essentially talking into Skype to myself. Um, it was... Yeah, well, I'm used to that, but... Uh, but because um, of the Mexico. time difference, and we were in Germany, um, in Mexico now? I guess we we just crossed into New Mexico. Oh. That's interesting. Wow, it looks the same as it did back there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because of the time difference, and we were in Germany, it was like two o'clock in the morning, um, and I was tired. It might have been a little drunk too. I'm not entirely sure. I had a silly uh, uh, presentation picture, myself. Picture, picture, New Mexico. New Mexico. <clears throat> Can you drive a little slower? No. Come on. God damn. Ah. Camera. Speak of the map. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back. Um, you just got her picture. I um, do. Yeah, so anyway, we have one o'clock. is eight. We have about four and a half, five hours before we get there. Um, and looking forward to seeing everybody. Um, I made a post about... Uh, being kind of like the Geek Pony Express because we've been uh, transporting um, steampunk weapons across state lines. Um, oh yeah, and uh, John Strangeway, you owe us one because your daggone weapon has been rattling for the twelve, the past twenty hours now. At least. Ah, uh, you are as happy I didn't make him pull over and leave it on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just, it's just so, uh, it's just so long. Your weapon is uh, Your weapon a noisy is weapon. <laughs> She's back there throbbing away. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Alright. We're here. Yay. We just rolled in, got checked into the hotel. Uh, so, 2,451 miles later. Long, long miles later. Yeah, but we got cookies. We yeah, got cookies. very and good cookies were, from the DoubleTree Hotel. They were much better than the Texas stuff we had. Mm, really good stuff. <laughs> yes. mm, yep, so. we averaged exactly 14 miles per gallon the entire trip. Yep. So I came in just at my budget of gas, which I don't want to say the amount because it's um, a lot. If you're going to plan, classified. do your math. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are going to um, get ready to party. <laughs> that was really lame, wasn't it? Mm. You can tell we've been driving a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kiss the ground. All right. <laughs>